Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in or at Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico. And I just got back, well, I got back a few hours ago from having my RV electrical problem uh, resolved, sort of. Now, let me explain. For those of you that have RVs, motorhomes, travel trailers, I don't care what kind of RV you've got, uh, okay, so, sooner or later, you're going to have to deal with uh, taking it in for some type of repair. Whether it's new or, or whether it's covered by warranty or not, doesn't matter. This is covered by warranty by Casita. I've got a 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe. And the problem I was having was uh, whenever I hooked up the, or whenever I got ready to move and unplug the 30 amp card, and the refrigerator, which is a three-way fridge, is supposed to switch to propane. Uh, it would do it, for, and then it would pop the fuse inside the RV, RV the 15-amp fuse inside the RV. And now there's also a 30-amp fuse at the domatic refrigerator outside. So <clears throat> I took it in today, and uh, the tech at uh, the local RV place we talked with the Casita tech and it was decided that apparently there was a short in the wire and uh, so just run another wire because there's a blank spot in the fuse box where they could you know put another fuse and run another wire you know to the refrigerator and that way the defective wire the one that's shorting out or causing the fuse to blow uh, would just be a dead wire <clears throat> well that's wonderful so they got it done. I don't know. It took up a couple of hours or so. Anyway, they got it done. I drive, pull the RV back home. And just about 30 minutes ago, I thought, well, hell, I'll uh, go. I, was, I don't know what well, I, I know what it was. I turned. I was going to turn on the light by the entryway. Whenever you come in the entry, entryway of the casita, there's a light just to the left. You just push the little or slide the little thing and it comes on. Well, it didn't come on. So I thought, I wonder what caused that. I thought, well, I can't be burned out. It's LED. They should last a long time. So I took that LED that was apparently defective out, and then I put a, one that was working in. It still didn't work. So then I know that there's something wrong with the wire going to that light. Also, the outside light doesn't work. Well, come to find out, they're on that same, quote, wire that goes to the fridge, and then it goes to those two lights. So now that we have run the new wire, not including those two lights, I don't have that light as you come inside the, the, the RV on the left side, and I also don't have an outside light. So, we solved a problem, didn't we? But we created a new one. And if I hadn't, and, and I called the tech, and he said, yeah, that's that's right. I mean, I called the guy at the RV service, and nobody told me that while I was there, that those lights weren't, weren't going to work, but they knew it. And so, uh, anyway, I get home, and now they're not working. So here's the dilemma. You know, you, you take it back over there to them. Uh, they don't know how to run the wires for the Casita. The other option is is to take it into Casita in Rice, Texas, before the warranty runs out in October. Which I guess I might do if I, I what I might do is when I come back from this trip, is just kind of go way out of the way and go make an appointment at Rice, Texas, so they can uh, clean it up because. What I've got is a dead wire that's, that, that will short out if there's a fuse in there because it'll blow the fuse as soon as you put it in that number two slot. And uh, that ain't good. So, uh, you know, but, but as long as there's not a fuse in there, it can't create any problems as that's what I was told. And so that's good. I mean, there's no, for certainly no smoke or anything. I, I don't smell any electrical burns, let me say that. So what you run it, and then while I was in there, some other people came in. <coughs> a guy came in. He had a big, big fifth wheel there, and he was wanting to be in Albuquerque tomorrow. Apparently, he's got some problem with the wheel, and our wheel bearing, and they were supposed to replace it. Well, they could. It's sprinkling rain here today, so they didn't want to work outside, and his RV was too tall to pull inside. So you see all the little things that you can run into when you're out here in the real world. Is this a big issue for me? No. Does it bother me at all? No, I'm just aware of it. Now, I'm glad I'm aware of it. Now, the good thing, the, the real upside is, is we have solved the problem of the three-way fridge so that it now functions on all three ways and it does it automatically without blowing the fuse. That's a big plus. The downside is we've created a small problem in that that 
light on the inside and the outside light do not work. Is that I, do I ever use the outside light? I never have. I haven't used it since I own this RV. And that little inside light, I use it occasionally when I open that closet door because there's no uh, light in that closet and that light from that side shines right in the closet. But anyway, to make, a, to make a short story longer, for you RVers out there, if you think that uh, you're going to live the life, you know, that you're not going to have these little minor issues, you are. They're just going to crop up. It's something. another plus uh, that I did today while I was there. They had the electric uh, jack on the front uh, on sale. Uh, it's a you know 3,500 pound jack or whatever it is, much more than I need. But they had it on sale for like I don't know 159 dollars, and they and they would install it for that price. Well, hell yeah. So I went ahead and got an electric uh, jack installed on the front of the RV, so I can just punch a little lever now. And th 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 you know, I I, you know, I could have done that when I got the RV, but I didn't think I'd need it. But yeah, it's it's a convenience, and I'm 73 years old, so yeah, it'll it'll be. It'll be a little easier to unhook and hook. And also, here's another one, a quick little tip, a quick little tip. Whenever you hitch, hook up to your RV, you know, and you, 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 you know, you crank it all the way down or you do the electric thing and you put it all the way down and you close the hitch and you put your lock on it and all that stuff and you think you got it hooked, right? Well, double check. And, uh, you know, if you've got a crank, you're going to have to crank and be sure that it, it, it'll try to lift the, the vehicle or the tow vehicle up so that it's really hooked onto the ball uh, because can it come loose from that ball if, if uh, yeah it can and so you don't want that to happen the good thing about using the electric jack is is I can you know put it down and close the the deal and put the lock on the hitch or not put the lock on but you know just close the hitch or the thing and then just you know use the electric and just put, put tension on it to be sure that that uh, thing has hooked on the ball and that we're good to go because you do not want that to come off. But anyway, having said that, uh, the pleasures of RVing, uh, you know, but we got some sprinkling rain here in, uh, sprinkle uh, here in uh, Alamogordo right now, and it's about 55 degrees. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 75 and sunny, so that's great. But again, yeah, everything went okay. They, you know, they got to it. Uh, they did the job. Uh, they just had to run a complete new wire uh, from the fuse box to the refrigerator. And, uh, and he's put in a separate fuse. So we're, we're good to go on that. And as far as that light and the outside light, you know, it's kind of a minor issue, but you know, it's one of those things that I, you know, if it's supposed to work, let's get it to work. And we will, It'll just, I just, I'll just have to come back by uh, the casita and have them uh, to fix it, okay? Anyway, thumbs up guys, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye. Enjoy, uh, buy anything you want, but if you want to uh, use the Amazon link in the description of all my videos, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, take deep breaths, stretch, walk, you know, do all that stuff. I mean, I didn't do any stretching or walking today, but I hooked and unhooked and did a lot of other stuff. So I guess I got enough exercise. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, take deep breaths, you know, uh, yeah, I was, I was breathing a little bit today, but having said that, thumbs up guys. Adios from at near Alamogordo. Bye-bye.